All right, October 3rd, 2023. It is 5.04 in the afternoon, 83 degrees. John's here with ASC Exteriors doing a repair attempt here for uh, Terry and Randall Burdett at 300 Liberty Drive here in Ackworth. This is a shingle in question. Uh, you can clearly see it's got you know, uh, a really big crease. This shingle is gonna make, we're, to get this shingle out, it's gonna impact one, two, three, four, five shingles. Uh, not including these two additional ones on the bottom that I'm gonna have to use my tool to scrape across, but let's get it going. Pretty severe granular loss, even just from unseating the shingle. Yeah, super, super granular loss just in using the tool. Oh, look, uh, that's already also the material. Look, that's already created yeah, an yeah, additional like crease on the top of that shingle. The other thing, too, is um, you can hear it. The shingle is extremely brittle. Uh, I feel a little, a little nervous even having this experience doing this, too. Uh, Ginger as possible. Oh yeah, that one, that one snapped. Yep. Was that a blow through on that one too? Actually, this next one, yes. Yeah, so let me point that out real quick. So you can see that nail is blown through in the shingle beside it, so that would actually have to be properly repaired too. So that increases another shingle you'd have to be touching, so that's already up to six. So let's just check. No, it is nailed up here, so I gotta get into this course. So that's the second course now of nails that you're removing. This one here. That's a separate shingle as well, isn't it? Yeah, but you see this, this is another one that's... Yep. The crease is already formed. All right, the shingle's been removed. Let's take a look at the deck below the shingles and everything, see how we're looking there. Oh, look, so look, this is not even the current code compliance, which we have to adhere to for our repairs that we do per to perform by state law. We've got staples in the underlayment, so this is already not code compliant, um, which is not a standard that we can adhere to as contractors. But just to make note of that in the file. Uh, this shingle is 36 wide, 12 tall, 5 inch exposure. Uh, no indications of the manufacturer on the sealant line. No, no. But you can see oh, all the yes, blood. Actually, here. do not remove ATL. So this is an Owens Corning. Um, three tab. Three tab that was discontinued. Um, the report shows us that the home was built in 2013. 13. In 2017, uh, we have the Owens Corning Supreme letter where they switched uh, the granule manufacturer um, or locations. So this shingles also discontinued. There's a do not mix, do not. Uh, so before we even see how the shingle's been impacted onto the repair, just to renote, we got staples in the underlayment, which is not code compliant, and we've got a discontinuation letter from Owens Corning that this is not a compliant shingle that we can do a repair with. But regardless, we'll still go ahead and notate the impact that this shingle has uh, reinserting it into the to the to the roof. So as he's nailing those in, you can see granules flying off and sliding down from all of the surrounding shingles, which shows a shingle failure in itself, but there's such a severe granular loss.
I mean, even lifting to check the shingles to make sure that we've nailed properly, this you're getting granular impacted. loss. This one's been impacted. This one's been impacted. The chocks are. You can see the granules are gone. Yeah. Yeah. So, in attempting to remove this one, we went ahead and granular loss here as well. Two, three, four shingles were damaged. Definitely do not. Uh, does not. It cannot. It's not. It's my professional recommendation the shingle is not in a repairable condition. It will not accept the repair both by its brittleness and then also if it discontinues shingle. So.